compare Nigerian government to unconditional release of public Namde Khan, U.S. lawmaker, test President Biden. Hello, viewers, welcome to my noble channel. According to the news today, Khan has been in custody of the Department of State Service since June 2021 when he was arrested in Kenya and returned to Nigeria by the Nigerian government for continued trial and treasonable felony and terrorism charges pressed against him by the government. The member representing District 139 in the Texas House of Representatives, Javis Johnson, has asked the President Joe Biden, led United States government, to compare the Nigerian government to immediately and the unconditional release leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Report, Namde Kano, from detention. Kano has been in custody of the Department of State Service DSS since June 2021, when he was rearrested in Kenya and returned to Nigeria by a Nigerian government for continued trial of treasonable felony and the terrorism charges pressed against him by the government. However, on October 13 this year, a three-man panel of court of appeal, George, India, on Mio's decision ruled that Kano's reduction from Kenya was illegally. The, illegally, the court also discharged and acquitted Kano of all the charges and other for his immediate and unconditional release from detention. But the Nigerian government, through the Attorney General of Federation, Mr. Malami, a terrorist who was made Attorney General, says, insists that I pop. Leader cannot be released and thereafter appeal the judgment of the appellate court. The Nigerian government decision to keep Khan in detention after the appeal court judgment has since generated widespread mixed reaction, particularly condemnation from Kano supporters within and outside Nigeria. In a statement on Tuesday, Javi Johnson, a group known as the Biafra Advocacy Group, BAG, called on the U.S. government to facilitate Kano's unconditional release and to compare the Nigerian government to grant Kano his request of free and fair referendum as recognized by international laws. The statement read, T.S. State Representatives, Javi Johnson, Democrat, Austin and the Biafra Advocates Group, BAG, a human rights organization based in the U.S. or the U.S. government, to join other governments and organizations to compare the Nigerian government to immediately Liz Mazen and the Kano, the leading freedom and human rights advocate for the Igbos and other oppressed Nigerians minority and tribe, Maz Kano, a British citizen, was kidnapped in Kenya on June 19, 2021. After a week of torture in Kenya, Kano was forcibly taken to Nigeria. Kano was charged to court by the Nigerian government on alleged offenses committed in the United Kingdom after a series of sports, after a series of Spurious amendment of his changing instrument, a series of continuous adjournment of court, the test and fourth plot to conduct a secret and quash military trial of Kano by the Nigerian government. He has finally had his day in the Nigerian court. The Abia State High Court judgment of January 19, 2022, has noted Kano from jumping bail and ordering the Nigerian government apologize and pay him compensation for the military invasion of his ancestral home. On October 13, 2022, the Nigerian Court of Appeal in Abuja, Nigerian, anonymously heard Nigerian government intention of Kano as illegal. The court found Kano was kidnapped from Kenya and unlawfully detained in Nigeria. The Federal High Court, Omaha, judgment of October 26, ruled Kano was extraordinary addition and other compensation for him. Kano was denied basic human rights and independent special medical care for an ongoing heart ailment rather than comply with those legal decisions and mandate. The Nigerian government has refused to list Kano and has resorted to delaying parties to alter the course of justice. Kano's only alleged offense in his persistent request for the Nigerian government with the assistant of the international community to conduct a free and fair referendum as a peaceful means of resolving the nation now question in Nigeria. This is consistent with international law and practice. It was via a referendum that the 30 years war in Sudan was resolved. The UK discontinued its membership in the European Union. Brexit was resolved and the issue of Scotland as part of the UK was resolved. 
TS State Representative Javis Johnson calls on the United States government and other agencies to facilitate as ordered by the Nigerian Court of Appeal and the UN Working Group Opinion Number A slash HRCWGAD slash 2022 slash 25 the immediate and unconditional release of Nazan and the Kano from his unlawful detention in Nigeria. Obviously, people think that they are suffering Mazen Nam the Khan. No doubt he's suffering. A man who has been in DSS custody for a year and nine months now. He's suffering. But the truth is that those of them who kept quiet while this man continued to go on through this atrocity that they have meted on him. We understand the time to come when he is to come knocking on their door step. Because people believe that he <laughs> can't touch me, he can't touch me. So what is my problem? Why should I say something? The same bad Nigeria that this gentleman was talking about, why we needed the referendum in the first instant, is what is continuing to exist. Look at the way Nigerian government are killing people in Ebola. And when they kill, they will claim that it is a, a non government. Who are the non government? They are soldiers and police and DSS. What the hell are you talking about? When we do not have them in our land like that, things like that was not happening. So what are we talking about here? It's quite unfortunate, like I said before. Quite unfortunate. We are saying this and we are going to say it again. If they don't lose Mazin Nam Kalo before the so-called election. I don't think what we for Nigerian government will like it. Not only in Ibo land, but everywhere in that corporation. They cannot be Parleying with Fulani terrorists who are going around to killing and raping, maiming and kidnapping, bombing down aircraft. Why they continue to keep a gentleman who did not commit any crime in their custody? Just show me where you see that. He stands security in the talk, bomb down an aircraft, apart from staying in the forest, fighting those who are coming into our land to kill our people. Nigerian government should be grateful to the man anyway, if not, if he happens to be in a country where they respect human right. By now, Nigerian government is supposed to be grateful to Eastern Security Network for stopping Fulani terrorists that the claim are coming from outside to penetrate the land where the whole resources are that they are using to run Nigeria today. Somehow, they are helping the Nigerian government too. Because the Nigerian government claimed that those who follow are from our side, they are not our people. That's what they claim. So the question is, what are they looking for? You know, you producing states in Nigeria. It's just obvious. They want to occupy the land to take over their resources. This is the plan. But they cannot approve them because they are selfish and self centered. They are criminals who are sponsoring those people. When they told you that uh, they are from our side, ask them who are the ones who imported them. Buhari did. Buhari did. It's quite unfortunate, like I said. But time shall come when we will no longer threaten the nonsense. Mas Nam, they can have suffered so much. Even with his heart problem, this government has shown that they are terrorists, indeed. And if people like Bidin is not talking about it, I mean, something is fishing here that we, the Biafrans, must find out. I think I've come to the end of this new J. Biafra.